Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher again from Reading Town. It's good to see you again. Let's take a look at today's article. Our article today is entitled International Migration Day. International means between countries, not just in one country, but amongst all the countries of the world. So international and migrants, we will learn more about it in today's article. So it's a day celebrating uh, or remembering international migrants. So what if you had to suddenly move to another country? What if you had to move to another country from Korea to Japan or Korea to Russia or somewhere else? That would be kind of scary but exciting at the same time. It says a migrant is someone who lives in another country where he or she was not born. Sometimes migrants must leave their home countries because it's not safe to find work or search for a better life. So we know that people leave the countries that they're born in for many different reasons. Uh, my parents decided to move to America because they thought there would be greater opportunities. Uh, some people are not so fortunate. They leave because they have to. Uh, people can choose to immigrate abroad, but oftentimes they are forced to move. So it says here, people choose to immigrate. Immigrate means move to another country to live there, not just visit. So we know that many times we go on vacations to other countries. We wouldn't really say that that's immigrating because you're just visiting. You're not moving there. You're not living there. That's what immigrate means. Abroad means outside of your country into another country. Uh, oftentimes they are forced to move, so it's not their choice, but they have to move, and that's what happens to many migrants. So if you look at this picture, does it seem like they're on vacation, that they're moving because they think that it's fun or it's enjoyable? Not really. These are people who are moving because they're leaving a dangerous situation. So we see migrants for many different reasons. Let's look at the next paragraph. Immigrating to another country is difficult, right? It's not easy. Even under good conditions, as seen in the case of Syrians fleeing their war-torn uh, war -torn country. So we see that the people of Syria, we call them Syrians, they had to flee or run away or leave their country because it was destroyed by war. So it's not even uh, a good situation in places like Syria. So under good conditions, meaning when even though everything is normal or everything is pleasant or everything is good, even if it was good situation, if it was a good situation, it's still not easy because you're going to a place that you don't know, uh, you don't have any help, you may not even speak the language, things are new, so it may be very, very challenging. Uh, last paragraph says, International Migrants Day began in the year 2000. Its goal is to recognize the contributions of migrants to their host countries and draw attention toward respecting human rights. So let's break that sentence down. So this is the day, International Migrants Day, the day that we celebrate or remember people who have moved and lived in other countries. Uh, it started in 2000 and the goal, the purpose, the reason why they have this day is to recognize. Recognize means bring attention to. They see, they understand, uh, and, they, and they appreciate. So they recognize the contributions. Contributions is what you do to help. So for example, if I move to a new country and I contribute, that means I'm giving something back. Maybe I become a teacher and I help the students there or the community. So contributions is how those people, those migrants who move to those countries, how they can help the country that they move to. So the contributions of migrants to their host countries. Host means if you come to my house, then I am your host, right? I am hosting you, meaning that I am welcoming you. So the countries that are welcoming these migrants, right? So the, the contributions, the things that these migrants do to help out or give back uh, to the countries that are welcoming them, uh, we want to recognize that. We want to remember that and celebrate that. And also draw attention. That means make other people focus, make other people aware of what's going on, especially toward going toward respecting human rights. So human rights is the belief that we all have certain uh, privileges or certain rights that we all deserve uh, to work hard and earn uh, what we think is fair and also a chance to be happy, do what we like, be free. Those are human rights that no one can tell you you cannot be happy. No no one can tell you you cannot do certain things. So we need to respect that. We need to appreciate that. So all of these things are put together in the meaning of International Migrants Day. We want to focus on the people who have left their countries for whatever reason 
And in their host countries, the countries that have welcomed these people, we want to remember and recognize the good things that these people are doing in their new countries. And we also want to remember human rights, that everyone deserves or has to have the equal chance to be happy and successful. On Migrants Day in 2015, UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon urged the world to commit to clear and comprehensive responses toward human rights issues under international law and standards and leave no one behind. So another long sentence, let's break it down. So in 2015, just last year, right, Ban Ki-moon, the UN uh, Secretary General, he urged the world, urged means he wants the world to pay attention. He's encouraging, he's saying, please pay attention. So he says it's important, it's urgent. He urged the world to commit to clear and comprehensive responses. So it says commit means that you promise that you will do it. So he said you must promise uh, to clear and comprehensive responses. That means clear, uh, we understand that it's very easy to see, and comprehensive means very thorough. Not just, oh yeah, we'll do it, but comprehensive meaning we will do this, 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 all these uh, detailed checklists. So very thorough, comprehensive responses towards human rights issues. So when there's human rights issues, let's say people in a country are not, beating, uh, are not being treated fairly, there's war going on and all these innocent people's lives are in danger, that's a human rights issue. So when there is a human rights issue anywhere in the world, he urged, he said all the countries in the United Nations needs to pay attention and do something about it. So under international law and standards, standards is what we should do, right? It's the regulation, uh, it's what everyone agrees upon or it's acceptable, so that's the standard. Uh, and leave no one behind. So he says we shouldn't turn a blind eye or we shouldn't ignore uh, places in the world where there are a lot of human rights issues. He said as the United Nations, our job or our uh, duty is to pay attention that whenever there is a situation where there's human rights violations or human rights that are not being uh, kept, uh, then we need to pay attention to that and we need to follow through. And that's why uh, Ban Ki-moon was very uh, seriously considering uh, the, the responses that world's uh, countries, world powers like America and United Nations uh, are doing what they can do to help out these countries. So it's a very important uh, time in 2015 uh, on this International Migrants Day uh, that this was said. So let's look at the last sentence. Many events are held around the world on Migrants Day, such as candlelight vigils and migrants sharing their stories with others. So there's many things that take place on the International uh, Migrants Day. So for example, uh, we have candlelight vigils. So if you've seen pictures of candlelight vigils, it's when people bring candlelights uh, they light up a candle and they meet together and they pray or they sing songs to remember or support a particular reason, a special cause. So we see people doing that here uh, whenever there's a tragedy, right? Or uh, when people are joining together for a special reason. So here we see that people meet together on December 18th of every year to meet together with these candlelight vigils and people who have moved to new countries, they share their stories. They share with the people living in that country about how they came to that country, what was going on in their homes that made them leave or what are some of the, the successful stories as they moved into their new uh, country. So we see that uh, migrants, uh, if you think about America, America is a nation that was built on migrants, people coming from all over the world. We have many different uh, immigrants here in Korea as well. So uh, International Migrants Day, December 18th, it's an important day that we celebrate that wherever you go you may find a new home, new opportunity, new hope. So it's an important day to celebrate now that we know this. Let's look at the, the questions from today's reading. So if you look at the picture once again, uh, it's not very uh, pleasant. We see that there's a lot of people packed together on these boats uh, and they're desperate. They really want to go to a better country or a better situation. So they're leaving behind their families many times, everything that they know so that they can go to a new country and migrate. So we see good reasons, we also see very sad reasons uh, for people leaving their countries. But uh, migrants are the people who work very hard and form uh, countries and do many great works. So let's look at the questions. Who is a migrant? A migrant is someone who lives in another 
So we have the blank, and it looks like it's a noun uh, where he or she was not born. So it's a place. So another where, another, that's right, another country. So you don't uh, live in the country that you were born in. So for example, if you're born in Canada, you move to, let's say for example, Argen Argentina, right? Then you would be an immigrant or a migrant uh, to a new country that you were not born in. So let's look at the second question. When is International Migrants Day? I must have said it like four or five times. It's on, we just had it, right? It was uh, last week. It was December 18th, right? So the, on December 18th of every year, we celebrate International Migrants Day all over the world. Uh, the last question, when did International Migration Day start? International Migration Day began in, past tense, begin, began in, uh, what year was it? Was it 2015? No, it started uh, 16 years ago in 2000, the year 2000. So these are some of the questions that we focused on. Uh, let's. Uh, look at some other questions as we fill in the blanks. So here in the first question A, sometimes migrants must leave their home countries, home countries are the countries that they were born in, because it's not safe to find work or something for a better life. So what did we say? Many people, they uh, would like to get more chances, so they search for a better life, right? So like I said, my parents, a long time ago, uh, they immigrated in search for a better life in America, right? So we were migrants too. So let's look at the second question B. People can choose to blank abroad, but oftentimes they are forced to move. So if we look at the, the end of the sentence, it shows one choice. And in the beginning, it's another choice that's probably opposite. So in the end, it says they oftentimes are forced to move, so it's not their decision. So that means on the other hand, people can choose to people can choose to immigrate abroad, meaning they can take everything that they have and live in a new country, which is immigrate, or they are forced to move. So sometimes it's their choice, or sometimes they have to. Uh, the last one, many events are held around the world on Migrant Day, such as something and migrants sharing their stories with others. So I said earlier, uh, we talked about when people gather together, they hold something, they either pray or they sing songs, and it usually happens at night because they need to light up their uh, candles, right? So it's the candlelight vigils. So on Migrants Day, people meet together, have these candlelight vigils, and they share stories. So these are ways that we can remember or celebrate an important day known as International Migrants Day. So next year and the years to come on December 18th, I hope that you would also remember and celebrate International Migrants Day. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson, and I want you to share this day because it's important because migrants are all over the world, even in Korea or helping or adding to our culture and our country. So I hope you enjoyed today's article, learned a lot, and I will see you again next time. Goodbye, everyone.